Welcome to MCI. I'm Mike. I'm Sienna. And today we, we would, would like to show you around our loving, loving school, Main Central, Central Institute, Institute or MCI. Xinjiang. My name is Christopher Hopkins. I'm headmaster at Main Central Institute, a boarding school with many, many day students from the local area and students from around the country and the world who come together in a beautiful New England town that is safe, that uh, takes care of students, makes sure that they have adults who are with them and supporting them, and also pushing them to achieve at the very highest level. We're very fortunate to have had students from Vietnam for many, many years, and we have much experience in teaching them in the classroom to achieve at their highest academic potential, but also to take advantage of the countless opportunities that we offer here at Maine Central Institute. Uh, clubs, other activities, athletics. Uh, a student who comes to Maine Central Institute and graduates is given the very best opportunity to apply to and be accepted to outstanding colleges and universities to achieve success at those schools. Here at MCI we have five academic buildings, four student dormitories and two athletic gymnasiums. The academic buildings are Founder, Wayman, JR, Man Side Building, Art and Music Buildings. Behind me is Founders Buildings. It's where the humanity department is, which teach subjects such as history and English. It's also the location of the academy office. Let's move on to the next building. As you can see to the right of me is Wayman Hall. This is where the ESL program takes place. Here, ESL are being offered to students that need help to improve their English. This is JR Team Cat. Within this building, there are classes such as health, music, and performing art. Here we have the fourth building, which is math and science. This building is the newest among the five, and it offers students courses that related to math and science. This is the library. This is one of the most important buildings on campus that help students to find books to help them in their study. But not only that, this is also the place that foreign language department takes Good afternoon, my name is Suzanne Furrow and I'm the International Academic Counselor here at Maine Central Institute. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about what we offer our students at MCI. We offer opportunities for our students to excel once they leave MCI. What we look for in students at MCI is students that have a holistic approach to learning. So that when they go on to college, they will be able to function as great individuals and citizens on the campus. We also offer uh, counseling for international students on how to get into the best school that's the best fit for them. When we talk about best fit, we're talking about a school that the student will go and thrive, meaning they will go and be able to be challenged the most that they can be with their academic core courses and also be part of the community so that when they graduate from college, they will have experiences that will help them to be very successful in their chosen career field. We really strive to make sure that our students receive the best academic support that they can. I am here at all times for my students. If they have a small question about a class that they're taking, or a large question on which school should I choose when I leave MCI, or how do I get into that Ivy League school. Uh, we work really hard to make sure that our students are best prepared for anything that they're looking for as they leave MCI. My name is Mr. Gilbardo. I am an academic counselor at MCI. I'm also the club and activity coordinator. Um, and one of my responsibilities is making sure that each student at MCI has an opportunity to participate uh, in the various offerings that we have, which includes over 32 different clubs and activities. Um, at MCI and our students really take advantage of these opportunities by being involved in leadership clubs like Model UN, like P-Club, Student Council, Student Leadership Committee, 
uh, Kindness Group, and, and various others as well. Alumni Hall, one of the four dormitory on campus, and this is the only girls dorm on campus. Third dormitory in this cohort hall. This is also an honor dorm. This is called an honors dorm because in order for you to live here, you must have a requirement of GPA over 85. You also have to be included in extracurricular activities like sports or also be in clubs. As you can see behind me, this is Manson Hall. This is an old boys dorm and this is also the second biggest dormitory. This is the second oldest building in MCI, it is called Park Gym. The gym was built in order to give students a chance to get involved in sport in the early days. Right, Jim? Due to the fact that students at MCI not only focus on the academics, but also on their life outside school. MCI has recently built this gym in order to promote students' chances to get involved in extracurricular activities. My name is Clint Williams. I'm the Dean of Admission here at Maine Central Institute. I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce MCI to you. We're a wonderful school. We have an excellent academic program, excellent faculty and staff. We're located in, in the, one of the safest states in the United States, and that state is Maine. I would welcome very much to receive your applications as you look at your options for, for schools here in the U.S. Um, we have an excellent group of people here that will help you reach your goals. And I travel to Vietnam frequently, so if the time permits, I would enjoy meeting you while I'm there as well. So I hope the information that you gather about MCI is excellent, and I look forward to reviewing your application. Thank you. We look forward to having your students come in be a part of Green Central Institute. We are here to assist your students and to help with all of their needs. Please come to MCI and enjoy the experience. See your son or daughter here in the very near future.